Hi guys, my name's Cameron Lee and this is Mike Laidlaw and welcome, thank you for joining us uh, again. I think last time we did this was a couple of weeks ago. I know you, you did you another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and me. Yeah. Well, that's the only one. That, yeah. That's <laughs> it. It's the one that counted, man. Exactly, yeah. that's right. Um, welcome to my office again. Uh, we did this because we have room for the keyboard and mouse, which we're going to be showing today. Uh, with the PC gameplay. And yeah. Mike's going to be driving, actually. In fact, in fact, we're celebrating the end of PC week because it's yes. still a holiday here in Canada. It, it is. is, in fact, Canadian Thanksgiving. Yes. Which is like the other Thanksgiving with less Super Bowls. See, I don't understand why there's two different Thanksgivings. Well, um... Did, like, they travel? Because and, of yeah. October? Because of October. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, anyway. Okay. Canadians, right. man, we're different. Yeah, you are different. We're not just America light. Okay, so we're going to be showing a couple of things today. Um, we're going to show some conversations with this, the Inquisition specialists, which yeah. is uh, the people who help you lead the Inquisition. So fair warning, there's going to be some minor, spo minor spoilers. story spoilers there. So yep. I almost said spory. Spory? Spory! Yeah, um, that's not a word. Uh, so they will be, um, they'll be talking a little bit about an early phase of the game. It won't be too spoilery, but if you're interested in how the people that, that keep the Inquisition running kind of behind the scenes work, yep. and we're going to look at the war table. Which yes. is going to be pretty rad. Uh, yep. We haven't really shown much of that at all, and we'll give you a sense of how that plays out and how it interacts with your story and some of the choices you've made. Yep. Again, early, so not too spoilery, um, but you know, fair warning. Yep. So we're going to show that, and then we're going to jump into uh, one of your saves, Mike, in yep. the Emerald Graves. Yep. So there was some footage of the Emerald Graves out there uh, last week, I think, uh, but this is going to be our, our playthrough um, with our save. So yep. it's a different save. Um, so we can show a bit of the tactical camera, yeah. uh, and we are going to show something pretty cool, which we haven't shown before. Do you yeah. want to tell them what it is? Yeah, I, th I think we should. I think okay. we should. Um, so the uh, with my character, this is the one I've been kind of doing as my latest playthrough. Uh, I, I went through, and you know, in Inquisition, you have specializations you can earn, kind of advanced classes, and you do get to pick one. I decided to go for Knight Enchanter. And I know a lot go. of people have been kind of like, how does that play? What's it like? So <laughs> we'll actually show you this yeah. time. Uh, give me a sense of it. Uh, exactly. Now, I want to cover off quickly before we get started the PC specs. Um, mm. So, this is not what I'm running here. My PC is a bit shitter. Um, sorry, I shouldn't swear on Twitch, but anyway. Uh, so, PC <laughs> That's recommended. That's all people do on Twitch. I know. You go ahead. I know. Uh, so, recommended specs uh, Windows 7 or 8.1, 64-bit. Uh, from a CPU perspective, AMD 6-core, CPU uh, 3.2, uh, or Intel quad-core um, 3. Uh, 8 gig of RAM, graphics card, so uh, AMD definitely would be really cool. Uh, AMD uh, for Dragon Age Inquisition supports Mantle, uh, and for PC users, obviously 4K as well. Yeah. So we do support well, 4K. Well, via Mantle is my That's understanding. Right. Yeah. So if you want to yeah. go, you want to go to super high res, we got you covered. Yeah. Um, I've seen actually people have asked me that directly, so yep. I'm glad we're getting that out there. Absolutely. Uh, hard drive space, uh, 26 gig, DirectX 11, uh, min specs. You can probably check those out um, on the website. Uh, there's a couple of other things. Let's see, I've got a list here. Uh, so <laughs> um, we're doing some giveaways as well. So Origin Insider, their Facebook page, if you jump on that, I think they're giving away an AMD card, a 290X. I, I think, think so, yeah. And uh, there's another one being offered as well. If you hop onto the Dragon Age Twitter, at Dragon Age, uh, there's another AMD card being given yep. away. Another R90X, I think this one's the Sapphire. Yep. Uh, so you can follow both of those details on those pages. Cameron and I honestly don't know them. Yeah, we've been setting this we just, thing up. We just make games. We make game. Game good. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, hopefully uh, you guys can track that down. Uh, I think they're running the contest. Well, right now anyway, so uh, uh, track yeah, it down and see what you can find out. Okay. Um, of course, go. one minor disclaimer just before we jump yes. in. Uh, you know, this is still in progress. We are in the finaling stages. We're almost done this thing, but there may be a few bugs. It's still incomplete software. Uh, we're going to do our best to make it, you know, as, yeah. as good as we can. Uh, as well, so Patrick, have we got have we got keyboard cam? We can switch over. To we have keyboard yes. cam. We're just going to show you that I am in fact using a mouse and keyboard, and occasionally, for veracity purposes, we will switch back and forth to that. Um, and we got the glorious view that includes both. Right. So you there you go. Mouse and keyboard and and scar tissue. I grew up on a farm, so my hands are kind of fucked up in yep. places. Every once in a while, the grinder kicks back and just goes zerp right up there. That was a good they one. Okay, I just want to see the game. Let's go. <laughs> no, let's talk about my hands. <laughs> All, All right, right. first let's off, let's dig in. We're going to go to. No. 
Let's dig in and take a look at the war table. So a little bit of story, a little bit of sense of interactions yeah. with those characters. Yeah. Now the specialists, that's what we generally have referred to them internally. Um, you may call them whatever you want, your ambassador, your spy master, and your general. Yeah. In order, that's Josephine, Liliana, and Cullen. Mm -hmm. this, is kind of, this is kind of when you meet them. That's right. Yeah, this is uh, a little bit after the prologue, uh, when you're coming in and you're... Um, you meet Cassandra and you, you talk to Cassandra a little bit and you go into the war tables for the yep. first time and they, they talk about the current state of affairs. Yeah, we, won't, we won't spoil too much, nope. but we'll... Hopefully not, in. yeah. Do, do, do. Okay. All right, so as you guys can see, we've got our PCUI up and running here. We'll go into some more details on that. Minimap down here, obviously mouse look, all that fun stuff. Uh, we're going to kick things off, though, by right-clicking. Yeah, I think we'll... We won't talk, actually, because yep. people don't like us talking when other characters are talking. All, all too fair. Careful with the uh, the table as well, guys. It's making a lot of booms into yeah. the microphone. All right, can you get rid of that um, keyboard shot? Yeah. Thank you. Does it trouble you? Now, we can probably talk here. Um, yep. This gives us a look at the reaction wheel. Uh, so in the course of regular dialogue, your wheel would have no major icons. It's just kind of a generic choice icon that appears in the middle. However, when you're giving an answer that's more emotional, mm. that you want to say, I'm good, I'm angry, I'm stoic, I'm confused, or I'm sad. Yes. Now, there is an option to turn those off as well. You right? can, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, all, all versions of the game, you can say, I don't want any icons. Uh, I just want to play with just the paraphrases. As well, for PC, you'll notice numbers. If I want to just quick key to make a selection, I can do so. Let's be, let's be tough, Lady Elf. Not really. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time. And Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the Mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. May I present Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. Such as they are, we lost many soldiers in the valley, and I fear many more before this is through. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. Anderan Atishan. You speak Elven. You just heard the entirety of it, I'm afraid. And of course, you know Sister Leliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spy master. Yes. Tactfully put, Cassandra. I don't know about you, Cam, but I could almost hear the squee when Colin I, I was, just, I was just thinking yeah. about Cullen and, and everyone, yeah. So here, as I said, more generic um, icons. So again, not really conveying an emotion, more just a, a chance to discuss. Yeah. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. Ooh, denounced by the Chantry. Yeah. Politics. I know, right? Politics. So what are we going to pick? I don't know. Cameron, your call. I've been picking. Uh, well, does it really matter? It doesn't matter. Let's find out. Can't you simply ignore them? If only that were possible. Some are calling you, a Dalish elf, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy. And we, heretics, for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no There's doubt. Mad love from the it limits our options. Our Approaching the majors <laughs> well, or nice Templars here. for help is currently out of the question. So this one I want to pursue. Um, so, you know, we've done investigates before, yep. being able to dig in. The question mark gives you a chance to kind of explore a, a concept a little further. Mm. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. 
They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading? Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? Now, this one, this one, I wanted to hit specifically because I, okay. you know, we haven't talked about it in a while. But some folks were asking us, um, well, what, 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 what if I'm an elf? What if I'm? Oh yes, a canary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't want to be a herald of anything. Yeah. And here, here's the thing. So before we, you do that, we wanted to give you a chance yeah. to respond to that. Exactly. You know, and, and I think it's worth noting that um, you know we get the question a lot about well, you know, uh, Dragon Age Origins had the origin stories, right? right? Yeah. Um, but what that did is it front loaded a lot of that uh, race and uh, specific content right at the beginning, and it didn't leave a lot of room right. throughout the rest of the game. So yep. what we did in, in in Inquisition was we spread that content out over the, the course of the entire game, so it's more meaningful for the. The whole campaign, the whole story, your whole experience in the world. Yeah, absolutely. And and you know, having it keep coming up. And so this is uh, as well another thing. The writing team mm. uh, made kind of a, a personal goal is they wanted to have more moments where characters kind of stopped and looked at you and said, "So, how do you feel? Yeah, what what do you think?" So, yeah. supposing you're playing through as a Dalish elf, you're probably not super into the chantry right now, and you're going to say, "Well, I'm not, I'm not the herald of anything. I'm no yeah. herald of anything, particularly not on Drust Day." <laughs> I'm sure the chantry would agree. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. Will the Chantry attack us? With what? They have only words at their disposal. And yet, they may bury us with them. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. Now, for those of you who are wondering, how the heck do we end up going to the hinterlands? Well, yeah. this is why. Yeah. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Mm, the mm, war table. The war table. <laughs> <laughs> so the war table is the means by which you direct your Inquisition forces throughout the world. So you lead this big powerful organization which you build up over time uh, using the war table. So there's two countries, uh, Ferelden and Olay, uh, and in this case, this is the first time, obviously, that, that the player would experience the war table, so there's just one option on here, but we Did might jump in. Uh, we'll show a little more. We'll show a little bit yeah. more. Uh, but, Mike, do you want to show us, like, how you would actually sort of navigate around the war absolutely. table a little bit? Absolutely. So the war table, when you make your choice of country, takes you into kind of a focus area in that country. Uh, you'd be driving a cursor around if you're playing on console, but, of course, mouse users, boop, 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 boop. Mouse. <laughs> Very easy. You, may, you don't have to make the boop sound. I yeah. just like doing it. So this at this point is the, the basically the war table tutorial, how it looks. Um, fun note, upper mm. right corner, that box there, that's the Inquisitor Edition box. Oh, is that's it what really? it looks like. Yeah, if you if you actually yeah. have pre-ordered the Inquisitor's that's Edition, right. sadly sold out yes. due to ridiculous manufacturing. Yes. And if you want to hear Mark Dara go oh crazy. Oh, my God. It's just <laughs> packaging porn. <laughs> we, we were at uh, the Edmonton uh, yeah. Expo, and someone asked a packaging question. And Mark it was like 15 like, minutes. Entered a fugue state for 15 minutes yeah. and went off about the Inquisitor Edition. Anyway, back to the game. Um, the, anyway, that's a box. Uh, so scouting the Hinterlands when we go through. It'll take you through, give you a sense of what kind of action or adventure yep. is about to occur, and then you make your choice. Now, in this case, we only have our scouts involved in this mission, and you notice that it has a power cost of one. Yes. Which is the currency by which the Inquisition grows. Every time you open up a new area, if you pursue a major objective, you spend power, and yep. the war table, as we've said, is how you do that. That's right, and you earn power by exploring the world, completing yep. quests, closing fade rifts, doing yep. things that would strengthen an Inquisition. Yeah. Your reputation, yep. helping people, yeah, all these things. So again, it, when we when we click in here, we're going to spend this power, confirm the cost, and away we go. Scout army. Yeah, so awesome. A little package of murder. <laughs> She's so nice too. <laughs> yeah.
So this is uh, the village of the crossroads mm -hmm. in the Twilight. It's not even really an official village. No. Just a place where people have holed up trying to avoid the fighting between mages and Templars. And yep. You notice that that's been a pretty major theme of discussion so mm. far, but it's not the only theme that we pursued Definitely in the game. Not. In fact, it's a fairly early yep. kind of uh, 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 situation. And as we showed at E3, it's one that you're going to eventually bring to a head. Yes, which is pretty cool. So then you get an after action, after action report, yep. which you can read through as well. Uh, and this is indicative of how you would open up all the different exploration areas throughout the game. You know, we've got a number of these really vast areas for you to go and explore, uh, but you do so by sending out your scouts to, to, to get a foothold and, and then you can sort of travel through. And they're not really, there's a couple that are sort of um, locked to plots and stuff like yep. that in terms of the timing, yep. uh, but for the most part, uh, you're free to unlock these areas as you will, as long as you have enough power and strength of the Inquisition. Exactly, so so go out, go out and explore the world, play the yep. game, come back, spend power on the war table, uh, but that's not the only thing you can do. So we could immediately go to the Hinterlands. Whenever you unlock yes. an area, it lets you kind of quick travel there if yep. you want. Um, I'm going to say no, and I'll show you why, because I'm going to show missions. So operations are sending your troops out, spending power. Missions are the time-related things. These are the behind-the-scenes small objectives that are tied to the Inquisition's growth. So, uh, when we come to the war table here, you'll now notice that I don't think it went any open or late. No, it's my, at this point it's mostly in for yeah. yeah. So, we dig in and some different options. I love that hard and high town, barrack lovers. Yeah. 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 Right on that. And we're, well, actually, I'll take, a look at, I'll take a look at three different ones. So, okay. let's start with one here gathering coin. So, this is not the most intense of missions. No, but it's a great way to show that you can use your Inquisition to do things yep. for you, right? Yeah, it can yep. be repeated. Um, you, can, you can send people out. And when you have your different specials, you have Colin and Lillian and Josephine coordinating your efforts. Each of them requires time. Josephine's actually a little bit better at mm. gathering coins, so she's a little faster than the yep. others. That's kind of her specialty, is, is commerce and trade. Um, however, you may want to use Josephine for another operation That's or right. another mission. And if so you once you pick so, one, then, it, then they're locked for that time. They're locked right? for that yeah. time. So this would take an hour, it's going to come back. It's not a yeah. huge gain in coins, so this isn't the most optimal thing we can do, but even if you've run out of other stuff, there are some repeatable missions. Yes. One now, of my other favorites is actually gathering resources. Yes. Now, now there, there is no MTX no. to speed that up. No, there is like, not. why the fuck would we do that? No. No, no, <laughs> So no. So we don't, don't worry about that. Guys. Sure. Um, we're wondering about subtitles. If they'll be region locked, will you be able to edit them for multiple regions? Uh, so what do you mean region locked? So I imagine that in Germany they were trying to load German subtitles. Mm. Yeah. English. So I, I, I can't speak to the exact specifics on a per per skew basis, per uh, release basis, mm. but um, you will have your choice of language for subtitles. You will be able to turn them on, turn them off. Yep. You can also turn them on so that they are... Um, conversation only, not ambient. Or so both, there's, there's right. a bunch of yep. different settings for those. Um, I, sorry, I don't know the specifics on exactly how German handles it, but we, you know, uh, we've done our best to make sure that subtitles are available across the different platforms. Mm -hmm. So I've seen people play with German subtitles in English VL in yep. one instance. Yep. So there's different icons on, on the side of that, right? There's the little Inquisition. Um, Pin, which yep. you just used, right? Yep. Gather coin. coin, and then there's like the the diamond ones. Yeah, these are these are a completed scout. And yep. again, if you want to see that briefing again, you can yep. absolutely do so, or fast travel to that location again, yep. which can help if you're like, oh, I just wanted to update my things and then go mm -hmm. right back out to the field. Yeah. Here we have some soldiers missing in Ferelda. Now, yes. for people who followed along Gamescom, yeah, that would notice it exactly. So the demo we put together was that's in the Palo That's that, this that, mission. That's exactly. where you go because your soldiers yep. are missing and the Avar have taken them. Yep. And if you arrive on that one, you meet scout. Harding, she says, hey boss, here's what's going on, yep. and so on. Um, so, we can look at this one, it's kind of fun. So, many of your companions mm. and followers have their own kind of sense of, of what they could do. Um, and this one offers a more interesting choice. Um, so, Josephine could have a friend in Antiva City, Liliana could send her spies, mm -hmm. right? So, that one's, that one's quite useful. Um, we'll, we'll go with Josephine on this one. Um, she requires time, we'll confirm. Now, this changes it to be the sense. symbol for the ambassadorial. Yes, and you can see Josephine's card is then just lighter underneath Absolutely. as well, which is so. And we'll look at one more. Now, this one's kind of fun because it's actually tied to your background. Okay. You're an elf, yeah. um, and you'll notice through here that Clan Lavellin is somewhat concerned because one of your the clan is being held captive by the Inquisition, and they're somewhat worried about that. Okay. Uh, so each of the different races has their own background. If you're a mage, you also have your own background, um, So or human mage specifically. Yeah. So each of those have a series of operations tied to their background yeah. as well. Now, there's, there's over 300 
there are. Uh, operations and missions on the war table. Um, you know, it, and as Mike said, you know, what, which ones you're going to see of those 300 will differ depending on the the uh, types of character you are, what decisions you've been making yeah, you, throughout the game you, as well. You cannot see them all no. in a single playthrough. For instance, the race stuff yep. is, uh, is a great example. So Josephine's busy. We're going to send out Liliana, okay. and she'll Let's proceed. See what we have. All right, so that gives us a nice war table overview. I love how Cullen wasn't willing to go to the hard and hard town. It's it's just not his it's thing. It's not his he, thing. He, is has, no. he has people that no. punch stuff, right? <laughs> he doesn't really investigate authors. Yeah, there is there is one of my favorite operations. Um, there's a character who asks for specific help, and it's pretty flippant. Yep. And and Josephine says, oh, oh, I absolutely could do this. And Liliana says, I suppose I could spend spies. And Cullen's, Cullen's suggested as the advisor is simply, no, this is so. <laughs> yeah. He'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> but he's no, not happy. he does not yeah. want to do it. Yeah. So uh, Inquisition talents. Yeah, Let's this, talk about that. this is the last thing. So we talked about the Inquisition as a character you level up. And yes. like um, your character where you gain in, in talents and buy in the trees, you actually have different options available uh, as you go through and upgrade your Inquisition. Yep. You receive perks as the Inquisition grows in power, mm. and each one comes with a set that you can purchase into. Yep. Now, just stop there. I just want to oh, just go back up. So as you scroll down through some of these options, you can see that there's different requirements. So some of them yep. have... Uh, the requirement to have spent invested in this particular talent tree. Other yep. ones would be like you need to have captured a keep or you need to have recruited a particular agent into the Inquisition. Yep. So they're characters that you meet throughout the world that you can bring in uh, as long as you sort of fulfill their requirements. Um, and so there's a lot of different, um, again, connections and ways to sort of tailor your your, uh, your Inquisition depending on what you've been doing throughout the world. Absolutely. And in fact, uh, uh, one of the ways you can get those prerequisites mm -hmm. is that there are agents you can recruit. Yep. And they're added to that pool. So each agent is like an investment as yep. well, allowing you to, uh, to dig a little further in. All right. That concludes the... Administrative adventures of our yes. Elven Warrioress. That's right. Are we going to go and punch things now? I think we're going to go punch things. For All right, now. cool. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to switch over to a different character. Oh, there's a nice handy reminder on how to travel in case you didn't use the quest. Yeah. All right. So we're going to head to the Emerald Graves. Okay. This is a this human is a female enchanter. mage, Night Enchanter. Yes. Are you doing anything for Thanksgiving? As um, we wait for the Yeah, the in-laws are in town. Oh, yes. The in-laws are in okay. town. So oh, I've, nice. I've got family hanging out. Mmm, turkey. Yeah, oh yeah, we had, we had dinner last night. It was amazing. Best thing. Um, so the, the reminder, for those of you who may have just joined us, uh, at the beginning we covered it apparently on the Dragon Age social media Twitter stream, so at Dragon Age. Yes. Uh, they're giving away a AMD Radeon 290X, 290X yep. Sapphire, I think. Sapphire. And then uh, as well, you may want to check out the Origin Insider Facebook page. Yep. Uh, they're also giving a Radeon. Yes. Uh, we mentioned this earlier, but uh, we're largely focused on PC. We're going to take a look at PC controls right now. Yep. Um, reminder, a couple things. Uh, we support Mantle. Yes. We just announced that. Uh, 4K. 4K is supported via, via Mantle. Also, you can use Crossfire. Uh, I don't yes. think we mentioned that earlier. No. The, the dual cards. You can actually have double, double AMDs running deep. Mm. Uh, so today, we're playing with mouse and keyboard, and we're back in here. The Emerald Graves starts us out in a... Area that's fairly notorious hey, that because it's guy? where some of the, the Dalish concert. made their last stand Did during the Exalted it? March. The um, they died it horribly, crushed by the human forces. Humans are pretty oppressive in the Dragon Age world. Yeah, and now I just want to point out, Mike yeah. has a really cool staff that looks like Mickey Mouse, but with a like a gargantuan ear on the left. That's right. Well, it's, yes, it's if, if it's the Dragon Age version. It's like somewhat realistic, but yeah. a little bit weird. In fact, hey, wait, hold on. We're we're talking about equipment. Let's talk about equipment. Okay. For a second. So this absolutely badass trench coat I'm wearing right now.